uh, I'm going to be doing my uh, 5,000 mile review on the Motaz uh, Tractionator Adventure tire, which I got on my 1250 uh, GS Adventure. So let's take a look at it here. So the front tire is uh, pretty much uh, gone at this uh, at 5,000 miles. Initially, I had some scalloping issue because I think I'm using more of my front brakes. So uh, you know, so that's the problem with uh, how I ride. I guess I use my front a lot more than the rear. So this is how it looks um, at 5,000 miles. But uh, you know. This is a fantastic off-road tire, you know. I would not pick anything else on uh, on this bike for going off-road, you know. Uh, I just loved it. I've done, uh, you know, all kinds of, uh, you know, trails and uh, mud and slush and everything. And uh, you just air this down to about uh, 20 PSI and then it just works beautifully. So, so uh, that is the front. And if I go over to the back here, the back is much better. The back is, tire is really held up pretty well. And this has got probably nearly, I think, half, uh, half the uh, tread what it had when I started. So I think uh, this probably can go another at least 3,000 miles, I think. But again, you know, this tire is, is fantastic, fantastic off-road. You know, if you see my uh, vlogs, uh, you would have seen uh, the latest trip I did in Arkansas, and it was just gorgeous, you know. It's just, you know, I would not go with any other tire <laughs> uh, if I want to do off-road. Uh, so, you know, I think uh, this adventure is, is really good, you know. If you're serious about uh, doing off-road and if you're you know if you want to have the best traction so uh, that's what this is about uh, and uh, now if I want to next tire I'm gonna get is uh, the GPS uh, because uh, you know I noticed that my off-road uh, riding is just about you know 10 to 20 percent so I do a lot of street so and I think uh, with my skills I kind of improved my skills a little bit <laughs> so I can manage with uh, you know the GPS tire but if I if I were to do you know BDRs and stuff I would certainly pick this uh, this tire over that but uh, you know just for my kind of riding because of uh, the amount of miles I'm doing on the street compared to the off-road I might get the GPS because uh, you know I don't want to <coughs> uh, waste uh, you know these tires on the pavement uh, in terms of noise uh, the front tire howls a lot you know you're gonna you're gonna hear that noise and uh, you know it, it's it's kind of stable up to about 85 miles an hour but after that you know if you want to go above 85 <laughs> you gotta be a little careful you know I'm not an aggressive rider uh, that's why I guess I use um, you know more front than the back back uh, it doesn't get worn out as much as the front uh, so even the corners and stuff uh, you know I've had no problems never felt uh, you know any kind of issue with it even in rain and stuff like that you know you gotta be a little careful because these are knobbies and uh, you probably have watched Kyle Bradshaw's, uh, you know, reviews on uh, these, and uh, yeah, he just loves this. So um, a good combination would be, you know, for me maybe the GPS front and the Adventure in the back. But uh, you know, for now I might just switch to Motors GPS, both front and back, just because you know how much of uh, street riding I'm doing. Uh, but uh, that's what it is. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. But uh, this is a tire which I would recommend. It's a great, great tire for off-road use. So I would not go with anything else. I've, tr you know, I have uh, researched <laughs> quite a bit, and I've had absolutely no problems with uh, with this tire. So that's again Motaz GPS. Uh, no, sorry, Motaz Tractionator Adventure. 
and if you want uh, you know uh, best is about 20 psi off-road <laughs> you know you're just walking over stuff off-road it's such a great great tire and uh, of course the GSA is a has a great machine it's like a tractor with these uh, tires anyway, uh, we'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching